What's good, Scarf Scarf? This is Scarf, your only Tyro. Welcome to the channel. And go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button if you're digging energy. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to leave a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below. That would also be greatly appreciated. This is indeed my full-time job. So this is going to be predictions for the month of June, 2021. All right. What do we have for predictions for June, 2021? This will not resonate with everybody. So let's go ahead and see what's coming in for y'all, Scorpio Singles, for the month of June, 2021. What do we have for Scorpio Singles for the month of June, 2021? Archangel Michael, Allah. You're going to be getting some truth and clarity on the situation, Scorpio. I see somebody communicating with you in the month of June this month. Okay, so if you haven't received communication yet, you will be receiving some communication. Could be from an air sign of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You definitely will be getting truth on the situation, Scorpio. Okay? You definitely will be receiving some form of truth this month. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Six of Wands. Six of Wands, this is all about that victory. Okay, all about getting victory. You're going to feel very victorious. You're going to feel very successful. It's going to make you happy, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. When you hear this type of message right here, this is going to make you happy. All right? How can I say it? Yeah, it's, it's just going to make you happy. This message right here that's coming in, Scorpio, okay? You're going to be receiving some form of truth, a message, and it's going to excite you. With the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here with the Ace of Swords? The Scorpio Singles. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the Six of Wands? could be with a Gemini. You got sword energy here, Scorpio. This could be somebody that has been stuck on you for a good while. Okay. Exactly with the Cap uh, Capricorn energy devil. Could be with a Capricorn. This is somebody that cannot let you go, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. This is somebody that cannot let you go. Okay. For some of y'all, you could have two choices in love. But I get that this is a strong connection that can't be broken, a bond that can't be broken between you and this individual. There's a possibility for sex to happen. I do uh, get that. But this is somebody that cannot move on from you, Scorpio. Okay? You will be receiving a message. This individual has been trapped for a good while. They could have been trapped on you, Scorp, for eight months. Eight years even. Okay. But it's like this individual wants to communicate with you now. Maybe they see that you're moving on, Scorpio, or something along them lines. But this is somebody that you have a strong, intense connection with. With the lovers. Somebody that has an incredible bond to you, Scorpio. Y'all are bonded together. Don't necessarily have to be for physical. It could be for spiritual too. Y'all are bonded. There's a spiritual connection here. But if you look at the lovers, you don't have the chain around the lovers, right? Because the lovers, that's the real connection right there, Scorpio. Because you don't have to have a physical attachment to somebody, okay? You don't have to be physically connected to somebody. The lovers is the most powerful spiritual card in the deck because... They don't have nothing linking those two together. Because if you look at the devil card, look. Well, our race. Where's that devil card at? There we go. Look, if you look at the devil card, they got these chains right here. Okay? But if you look at the lovers, they don't have that chain there. Free. So if somebody is going to choose to be with you, Scorpio, like they choosing their own free will to be with you, 
then that right there is a powerful connection when it comes to the spiritual side. Okay. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Lovers here for what's coming towards Scorpio in the month of June? Possibly something that you've been waiting on, Scorpio. You've been planting a lot of seeds in this connection right here. Maybe some of y'all may have felt like it wasn't going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, you got the hangman. Could be with a Pisces. Yeah, somebody's coming back in, Scorpio, with the Knight of Wands. Maybe this person was very in and out your life right here. With the Knight of Wands. This could be a Sagittarius. What else do we have for Scorpio? For the month of June 2021. Emperor could be with Aries. So there will be balance stored in this connection is what I'm getting. There will be balance stored in this connection. King of Cups. So this person is still in love with you, Scorpio. There's a lot of love here. This person is definitely still in love with you. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. They will be coming in with some truth and clarity here. Somebody that has been caught up on you for a long time, Scorpio. They can't release you from their energy. This is something more than likely that y'all have lost y'all patience with, Scorpio, with the Seven of Pentacles right here. This is all about, okay, I wonder if this is ever going to grow. Looks like to me it will. It does have the potential to grow, Scorpio. It does have the potential to grow because this individual right here is still in love with you. With the King of Cups. They're definitely still in love with you, Scorpio. They have a lot of love here from this individual's in. It could be with a Libra or a Gemini. Or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this individual right here, Scorpio, is still in love with you. What does this individual want to tell, Scorpio? That they've been holding on to you. They've been holding back a lot, but they've also been holding on to you, Scorpio. They can't let you go. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Look, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for what this person wants to tell, Scorpio. Magician. Clarify the Magician and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been holding on, Scorpio. They've been holding back or taking actions, but they've been holding back their love for you, Scorpio. They've been holding it back. They've been keeping you very close to their chest. Like, they've been keeping you, they've been holding on to you very tightly, Scorpio. They ain't let you go. They ain't let you go. This is something that they probably could have been keeping from you, Scorpio. You could have felt like they was keeping something from you. And it's the love that they feel for you, Scorpio. Because this individual right here has a lot of emotion for you. Could be with another water sign. But that's what they've been hiding. They they could they could possibly tell you, Scorpio, that they're sorry for manipulating you. In a sense, because that is a form of manipulation. Holding back their true emotions. They could come in with that apology in the month of June 2021. They could come in with an apology. As I said, they're sorry for manipulating you, Scorpio, or it seemed like they was manipulate, but it was manipulation if somebody's going to hold back like that. You know, but I get with the magician here, somebody, somebody will be admitting to that they do have love for you there, Scorpio, and they're going to be apologizing as well. Getting a form of apology is going to come in, is what I'm sensing. They will be revealing the way they feel about you, and they could apologize about being manipulated. Manipulative. Because in reality, Scorpio, beyond this four of pentacles right here, this is what this individual feels. Then you got the king of cups right here. They're in love with you. They love you. They have a lot of emotion there for you. Then you got the lovers here. It's a strong connection. It's definitely a strong connection. 
But the King of Cups already knows. The King of Cups knows. What does this individual look? You got the Sun card. Could be with Leo. What does this individual want with Scorpio? What do they want with Scorpio in the month of June? 2021. What do they want with Scorpio in the month of June? Nine of Cups. They want their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. They want their happiness back. You hear this individual's happiness. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Strength. Clarify the Nine of Cups and the Strength card. Four of Wands. This is a strong connection, Scorpio. They have strong emotions for you. Nine of Cups is all about that, those emotions. What they want from you, Scorpio, is to settle down is what I'm getting. They want to settle down. Four of Wands, you got the Strength card all about taming. Because you are the happiness, you are the wish fulfillment. You make this person very happy, Scorpio. They're fulfilled when they're in your presence. They're definitely fulfilled. Then you got the Queen of Pentacles here. It's all about stability. Then you got the Emperor. There's a possibility for some of y'all to end up married in the month of June. These are marriage cards right here, Scorp. And you have the Emperor here. Not saying it will happen, but there's a possibility for some of y'all it to escalate to that. But this is indeed for Scorpio singles. Somebody from the past. It is somebody from the past. That you had history with, Scorp. What happened between Scorpio? Look, you got the Sun card again. What happened between Scorpio and this individual in the past? What happened between Scorpio and this individual in the past? What happened? What happened between the two of them? Knight of Cups and a Nine of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Cups and a Nine of Swords. Somebody not expressing the way they felt about somebody. Feeling like a mind game was involved. Clarify the nine of cups and a nine. Clarify the knight of cups and a nine of swords for what happened in the past between Scorpio and this individual. I'm also getting a sense that somebody wasn't ready to settle down. Then you got the Empress here. Somebody wasn't expressing their love the way they truly felt about somebody is what I'm getting, Scorp. This individual right here wasn't expressing how they really felt about you. You got the Empress. You got the Empress and the Emperor here, Scorp. This is a connection. You and this individual will be together, Scorpio. I do sense that something is going to happen this month to where you two end up back together. Look, you got the Three of Pentacles right here. You got the Emperor and the Empress here involved in the same spread. Then you got the Lovers, okay, which are representing a strong, strong, strong type of connection. Somebody wasn't admitting to how they really felt about you, Scorp. Maybe somebody was still in the dating stage. Maybe somebody was was in a dating state. They really didn't know what they wanted because the Knight of Cups is all about dating around and, you know, not really experiencing much. But at the same time, this is a love there. The Knight of Cups is all about love, all about that charm, all about that passion. Then you got the Empress here. It's almost like somebody wasn't expressing the way they really felt about you, Scorpio. And this caused a lot of confusion. This right here caused a lot of confusion. It caused somebody to feel like they was in their head. Okay, it caused somebody to feel like a mind game was being played because somebody wasn't expressing how they really felt about somebody. That draws it right back. Man, I'm getting better at these reads. But I can read the fuck out of these cards. See, Scott, when you practice a lot like that, you just get better. For those out there that want to start with tarot, that explains this Four of Pentacles right here. They was holding back the way they felt about you, Scorpio. It was holding back the way they felt about you. I forgot what it looked. Yeah, it was a magician. They was holding back the way they felt about you, Scorpio. And I see they they will be revealing that. And this was a form of manipulation, which in representing the mind games. That's why mind games felt like they was being played. Because somebody wasn't expressing the way they really felt about you, Scorpio. 
but they have a lot of attraction. This Empress right here, Scorpio, is highly, highly fucking drawn to her, her Emperor. I want y'all to understand that. This person, if you're questioning your mind, Scorpio, you have any doubts that if this person uh, loves you or if if you think that this person don't love you, Scorpio, they do love you. I'm going to tell you that right now to your face. They do love you. They loved you all along. This ain't no bullshit, Scorpio. Look at these cards, bro. King of Cups is all about loyalty and being, and being loving, okay? That's all about love, being in love. A lot of emotion in love, highly attracted in love, caring, and you got love right there, Scorpio. This individual does fucking love you. Four of Wands. This is a connection that can't be broken. Okay, this is a bond that can't be broken between the two of you, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. Okay? You got something right here connecting those wands. You see what I'm saying? But you also got the emperor and the empress involved in the same spread. And that is a couple that is supposed to be together, Scorpio. These individuals right here are supposed to be together. This is why you both more than likely can't shake each other's energy. Okay? If that's what's going on with y'all, Scorp. This will not resonate with everybody. But this is more than likely why you and this individual can't shake each other's energy. It's because y'all are meant to be together, Scorpio, with the emperor and the empress. These two individuals right here care a lot about each other, Scorpio. They may not show it. The emperor may not show it sometimes, but he cares about his empress, okay? He cares about his empress, all right? He will protect his empress. He will fight for his empress. He will fucking crack a skull over his empress. You know what I'm saying? This man right here is highly protective of her. And she's also the same way about her emperor. Now, the Empress is confident. She is a confident lady. But at the same time, if somebody was to try to mess with the Emperor, okay, another feminine was to come in uh, the territory and try to mess with the Emperor, that Empress would not like that at all. Because it's the love that she has for him. So these two are very protective of each other. Okay? It's because of the bond, Scorpio. It's because of the bond that you both have. With one another. It's a deep bond. It's a spiritual connection here. And what happened in the past between the two of you is somebody was holding back their true emotions. Somebody kept on holding back. Somebody kept on holding back. Maybe it was due to a lot of fears. And this caused somebody to be in their head. Scorpio caused you to be in your head. Felt like a mind game was being played and that's a form of manipulation. That is manipulation. If you're going to hold your true feelings back and not express how you really feel about somebody, all that needs to be said is the truth. And there wouldn't be none of that energy there. But maybe they was dating, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't even recognize how strong this connection was when you and this individual came together, Scorpio. Maybe they were still dating, but they didn't recognize it at that time. You know what I'm saying? They didn't see it at that time. And then you have a bunch of red right here. That's a lot of hearts. A lot of hearts right there, Scorp. Maybe this individual could have kept getting hurt over and over and over. Which is why they feared it. It was almost like it seemed too good to be true. But that's not the case at all with this connection right here, Scorp. Especially when you got the Emperor and the Empress involved, no. It is true. It's something that will last. Then you got the justice card right here. It's something that will definitely last. This is a connection that's meant to be. And the seeds that you planted with this individual Scorpio, it's going to grow. It's going to expand. But what I was saying before, Scorpio, somebody, what happened in the past is somebody was holding back how they really felt about you because you had the Empress. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Somebody was holding back how they really felt because it was very caring towards you, Scorpio. You may have not have known this, but this individual was very caring towards you, very loving, very nurturing, very caring, down to earth. But somebody wasn't expressing it. Your person wasn't expressing it. That's exactly what they've been holding back from you, Scorpio.
How does Scorpio feel about this individual? How does Scorpio feel about this individual? You feel in the dark about a Scorpio. You feel like they was keeping secrets. Why is the moon card here? Could be with a cancer. With the moon. Clarify the moon. Yeah, you felt like they were sneaky, Scorpio. But you do... Uh, you do have love for them, Scorpio. But you felt like they were sneaky. They was hiding something. They was deceptive. But your true feelings for them, Scorpio, is you do love them. This is a soulmate right here. You do love them. You got the, the four wands. Okay. And then you got the lovers. So this is an intense connection right here, Scar, between you and this individual. But you also felt like they was deceptive. They was high in something. I'm going to go ahead and clarify that. What this individual was hiding from Scorpio if they was high in something? What they was hiding from Scorpio? High priestess secrets. Could be with a Pisces. Yeah, this is a lot of secretive energy here, Scorpio. I can see why. This is a lot of secrets right here, Scorpio. Deceptive, not really being honest, keeping secrets, and that's more secretive. Why is the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, and the Moon card here? What this individual was hiding from, Scorpio? Ace of Pentacles. To clarify the Ace of Pentacles, what they was hiding from, Scorpio? Four of Swords. What was this individual hiding from Scorpio? Give me a clear message, please. What was this individual hiding from Scorpio? Six of Swords. Hmm. It was high and it was very detached, Scorpio. It, it's, it's, it's like it's almost in a, a detached type of energy. Clarify the moon and the high priestess. Or clarify the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Four of cups. Maybe somebody else offered this individual a new beginning, Scorpio. Maybe this individual, somebody offered them something. Could have been from an earth sign. Some, maybe somebody else has, had came in and reached out to them. And they was moving towards that. That's not going to be for all of y'all. But you definitely felt like there were secrets being kept here. Maybe they was keeping it a secret that they wanted a solid connection with you, Scorpio, but they wasn't sure. There was a lot of uncertainty here, a lot of fears here. Maybe that's what they was uh, uh, keeping a secret, Scorp. But you do felt like this individual was highly deceptive. How else does Scorpio feel about this individual? <laughs> Judgment and the Five of Cups. You have a lot of regrets, Scorpio. This individual hurt you a lot. In a sense, you do miss him, Scorpio, but you do have a lot of regrets here. You got the Judgment. Look, you got the Ten of Swords. Why is the Five of Cups in a Judgment card here for how Scorpio feels about this individual? Page of Pentacles. You do feel a lot of sadness for this individual, Scorpio. You do feel a lot of sadness and regret, okay? But it looks like to me you do want to get something off the ground with this individual. You do want to get something off the ground with him. You could want to slowly build things back up. What does Scorpio want with this individual? Six of Cups. 
So you do want a reconciliation with this uh, individual Scorpio. This is a soulmate here. This is a strong connection. So you do want a reconciliation. You do want to get things off the ground with this individual. It may start off slow, Scorpio. You may offer just a little bit, but you do want a reconciliation with this person. Judgment card is here. Okay, that's all about final decision making. Could have been with another Scorpio. Got a lot of cups here. So it could be with a water sign. But you do want to get something off the ground with this individual Scorpio. You do want a reconciliation. You've been thinking about them. What will be the final outcome of the situation? What will be the final outcome of the situation in the month of June? Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Chariot. Clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot. You got the Hierophant. Why is the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot card here? Queen of Cups. Give me one more card for the final outcome of the situation. Somebody coming in, Scorpio. There's a reconciliation that's going to happen here. Somebody wants to move forward and come out the cold with you, Scorpio. Somebody definitely wants to come out the cold with you. Could be with a cancer. You got the chariot here. Could be with a cancer. Somebody wants to come out the cold with you, Scorpio. And you got love here. Look, you got the Queen of Cups. Where's that king at? You got the queen and the king here, Scorp. Then you got the emperor and the empress. Look at this. Where's that uh, emperor? Look at this, Scorp. The empress, the emperor, the king, and the queen. If y'all come back together, Scorpio, this is what's going to happen. You're going to end up together. You're going to come out this. You're going to evolve. You both are going to evolve out this king and queen energy and end up together. That's what I'm getting. A family could possibly be started between the two of you, Scorpio. Not saying now. It could happen later on. But this is a connection, Scorpio. This is a soulmate right here. Somebody that you have a strong bond with. And they're in love with you. So both, it's a mirror type of energy is what I'm getting. So somebody will be reaching out, Scorpio. This is an apology with the page. Somebody wants to come back in, Scorpio. They want to move things forward and come out this energy with you right here. Because there was a lot of things that you and this individual went through is what I'm getting. So you will be coming out the cold. All right, you and this individual both will be coming out the cold. Because there's a connection and a bond here that can't be broken between the two of y'all. There's love there on both ends and somebody wants to apologize. It could be the both of y'all, Scorp. There's an apology that's going to happen. And things will be moving forward between you and this individual. Y'all will both come out this energy. See, you got a couple right here too. So y'all been through the ups and downs with each other, Scorpio. But that's what I have for y'all read, Scorp. Okay? Pretty interesting read. But that's the final outcome of the situation. Y'all both will come back together. Y'all both will be back together, Scorp. There's no doubt about it. Y'all will both definitely be back together. If not married in the month of June. This is not going to go for everybody. But y'all could just end up back together. But you got the justice card here. So that could represent marriage. Then you got the six of wands. That could also represent marriage. And you got the four of wands. Which is a marriage card also. Or just straight up coming together, Scorpio. Or committing to one another. Finally figuring out that you two love each other. Y'all can't let each other go. Okay, y'all both feel the same way about each other. It's, it's pretty obvious. Y'all both feel the same way about each other. You can't let each other go. Okay? Because there's a connection there. Because it's, you and this individual are meant to be together, Scorpio. Alright? 
So that's what I have, Scott. That's what I have for y'all. Read this when I resonate with everybody. This is going to be predictions for the month of June. Okay, what's coming in the month of June for Scorpio singles. And that's what I have for y'all reads, Scorpio. Okay, so if y'all enjoyed the content, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. If you want to leave a donation, I'm going to have a link in the description box below. Okay, it'd be greatly appreciated, Scorpio. This isn't even my full-time job, just like I always tell y'all. It does help me out as an individual. This is what helps me to be here for y'all to deliver more content. Okay, so thank y'all very much, Scorp, uh for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated, and I will see y'all later. Peace out.